Hey, Patty, happy holidays. Um, just what did it take tonight to kind of fend off this Lakers team? I mean, every time you guys threw a punch, it seemed like they came back and then they had that fourth quarter run. What did it take just to come away with the victory? Yeah, that, that was definitely the message um, from the beginning of the game was um, obviously being on the road, um, big game, Christmas, um, you know, a high caliber team. They're bound to make runs um, and it definitely gets loud in here. So just to be able to take those hits, um, stay calm, stay composed and, and stick to the game plan. Um, and I think we've done a, a great job um, at being able to take those blows and, and still stick to what we want to do. Um, but definitely a massive team effort from every guy that stepped on the floor tonight um, and being able to deliver um, their role, which was huge. Melissa? Patty, with the team so shorthanded and after everything that you guys have been through recently, what did it feel like for you personally to have the type of performance that you had tonight on Christmas in a nationally televised game against the Lakers? Um, you know, we've been kind of handling adversity throughout the whole season with um, different type of things, guys being in, guys being out, um, next man up type of mentality. So I think this was this was no different. Um, obviously, the last past week that we've had, um, it was exciting to get everyone back. You know, not everyone, but, you know, some guys back. Um, so there was good energy there. Um, but I think, you know, nothing has changed mindset-wise from – from you know what we've been doing up up until this point, um, being able to um, step up and, and deliver, and I think um, you know tonight I think was a good example of just having fun and, and, and figuring it out as we go. Um, you know nothing's ever going to be smooth sailing, but whatever it takes, kind of kind of thing. And um, you know we've got a lot of help from the guys that have come in to be able to um, help hold the fort down for the time being. Um, obviously our young guys too. Um, but in, in saying that, you know, we, we're all about the big picture here and, and where we want to be at the end of the season. And I think that's, um, you know, is, is really what's keeping us moving forward in, in you know, the right direction. Big picture along the lines of Jones specifically, how have you seen him back in office this week of coming out of protocols, but it's coming out of the last season to do it, adjusting the back right? Yeah, I, I think it's a testament to... Um, you know, his basketball IQ and understanding how um, the game is being played, um, how he's, you know, being played and how the team's being played as well and being able to, to work it out as we go. Um, so I think, um, you know, once we get all, all the pieces, this is something that's, you know, fun for us to, to enjoy and, and, and play how we want to play. But I think tonight was just one of those examples of him having fun out there and all of us having fun out there and kind of feeding off of that energy. But um, for him, um, you know, it's been obviously really fun, um, you know, playing with him, me, and um, I'm sure the rest of the guys. Patty, this summer, when you decided to get the agency, did it come down to the Nets and Lakers? And how close was it for you? And why did you pick the Nets? If so, what were the Nets? Not really for your first question. So does that blow the other questions out? Or? <laughs> the Lakers in the next? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think you know, going back to free agency, it was just such an extraordinary circumstance with the Olympics going on at the moment. So at the time, so it was one of those things where um, when we had to address it before the you know the semi-final game, um, got all the information and obviously it made a you know probably my my biggest. Um, basketball career decision that I've, I've ever made and, and made the change um, along with my with my wife which was um, a huge point in it too um, and um, I've, I've been loving every minute of it basketball wise and, and also off the court um, and I think you know that's coming out in how I play just the passion that I play with and understanding what I'm playing for and, uh, and the big picture too I think I'm one of those guys when I feel that um, passion and um, I guess pride in, in, in a sense of, of knowing why I'm playing and that comes out of, of me on the court. So, yeah. Greg Logan. Greg, you're muted. Okay, can you hear me now? Yep. Okay, you and Durant and Harden have been carrying such a heavy load. This might seem a little crazy. Given the COVID break that you guys have had, can that play to your advantage going forward because maybe you guys needed uh, the rest? Is that possible? 
Oh, yeah, of course, mate. I think you're spot on. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, yeah, I think there's silver lining in the, the week's rest that we, we had. Um, although, you know, like I said, it was it was cold and empty and lonely shooting in um, at, at the Barclays Arena, but um, I think getting those rest was was good. And I think maybe for everyone else too. So, um, yeah, look, we, we just understand where we're trying to be at the end of the season. I know we keep saying that, but that's what we, we keep talking about. And these games are important here and here and now. And, you know, we figure it out as we go. But, um, you know, we... we Especially me and, and understanding, you know, it's like blinders on of, of where we're trying to trying to get to. So um, it's important times, definitely. Brian Lewis. Hey, Patty. Understanding there's a lot that goes into production, right? I mean, opportunity and system and teammates and all that. But when we asked James about you, he said he thought this was the best that you've been playing in your entire career. Would you agree with that assessment? Or you think this is the best basketball you've played? Um, yeah, it could be. Um, I think maybe in the NBA, I think, um, production wise playing for my country is, is probably, um, you know, where I tend to play the best as, as well. But, um, to answer your question, yeah, possibly, but a lot of, um, factors go, go into that, I think. Um, but like I said, I'm just having a lot of fun playing with, this team and playing with these guys um and that's that's definitely coming out to, to play as well so uh, yeah possibly last question tom dab hey patty steve refers a lot to the spirit you bring do you, do you have a sense of <clears throat> what he means like that or by that or is that consistent with what you feel your approach is um <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. Um, I, I think I'm just being me and, and what I think, um, you know, the, the team needs and, and to be able to prepare for a game. I think I just go about it the way that I think is, is best for, for me and the team and try to um, give off that energy and that spirit and that, um, you know, that good vibes type of mentality and what it takes to win um, what it takes to win. Um, so I think, I think that might be what he's referring to. I, I don't know, but I think for, for me, it's just being a, a professional and um, understanding that preparation goes into it and then that can help to deliver, um, you know, whatever it takes to, to win. So I'm not sh too sure, mate, um, but, you know, I just, I just go about it how, how I do, I think. <laughs> Thanks, Patty. Sorry, I've never been asked that question before. I'm like, I don't know. I just time to go to work. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Patty. Patty.